Hey guys, Andrew here from Aloha Quails and today we are in the front garden. Um, it's kind of been neglected over the last year or so. We've had other stuff going on. Uh, so we had a garden bed that became overran with grass. We had all the plants um, in the pots that did really well. We got some good lettuce out of it. We have a self-draining container garden here. Um, the lettuce that we had in there did really, really well. Um, just with the heat we've been having, it kind of bolted, so we've had to redo that. And then we have the little garden over here that has our papaya trees and it had our basil and stuff in it. So we're going to take that garden out. We're going to reuse some of this space right here. We're going to put in a couple of self-watering planters over here and uh, just try and make this area a little bit more usable and a little bit more pleasant. This is the triangle garden that's next to our front gate. It borders uh, the street. And here we try to grow sort of some smaller stuff um, and just try to make use of this corner. So we had in here, we had green onions, we had basil, we had garlic, garlic, Swiss chard. And so that did okay in here. It kind of got overwhelmed. Uh, it borders the edge of our property and grass and stuff got into it and it kind of got overwhelmed. So we're going to move these plant pots just a little bit. Um, we've got parsley, rosemary, green onions that are seeding. We've got some kale that's kind of scraggly and we've got some lettuce there that's bolded. Um, our plant pots up here were just too hot so whatever we had growing in there kind of didn't make it. Yeah, this, this guy up here didn't last too long. Um, what we're going to do is we've got these containers that we were using as brooders and as fish ponds um, and we're going to raise them up to about that height off the ground and we're going to grow in those. So we have one that has holes in the bottom that we're going to do it as a traditional style, style garden and then I have another one of these that's going to go right next to it and we're going to try and make a self-watering garden with that one. So one that has a water pool in the bottom um, so that's going to go next to it. And then these pots are just going to get moved just a little bit. We're going to clean up this kind of rocky trash area over here. We're going to take out what was our compost garden. This area over here, we're going to try and redo this a little bit, maybe expand some more lettuce because it does get a lot of shade. Lettuce that was in here, bolded. Got to redo that. These I'm excited about. This is dragon fruit cuttings that one of our neighbors gave us. They were about an inch to two inches big when we put them in. They're doing really well. We're going to try and get those in the ground and hopefully get some dragon fruit uh, coming up. But it does take a while, so that's a long-term project. So we're just doing like a clean-up today and just getting everything uh, laid out and try and see where we can go. Just to show you guys, uh, this is the bottom of our container garden that we had over here, the wood. Um, we had painted it, but it held up pretty well. I mean, this is about two years. It's only just kind of sort of starting to rot away. Um, so I'm actually really surprised that it wasn't more disintegrated than what it is. Okay, so we cleared out where that little raised bed was. I put in four concrete blocks for these containers to go on. So this one is going to be our self-watering one. So what we did was we took some of this plastic piping that has the holes in the bottom and we put it in here. We have our watering tube right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put soil over the top of this. This is going to leave a space at the bottom where water will sit. It has a small hole down here on the side and that'll let the excess water drain out. So the idea being is, is that when you add water to the watering pipe, it fills the bottom with about two to three inches of water and the soil will wick up what is needed. So we're going to go ahead and fill this with soil and then we can go ahead and get it planted. So we got these two garden beds full. The one over here is our self-watering garden. It has this pipe right here that we can add water to that takes the water all the way to the bottom. This one right here is just a regular raised garden bed. This container has some holes in the bottom for drainage. We filled it up with the soil that was underneath where these gardens are now. And then we just added a bag of potting mix to the top. The plants that we have in here right now are just store purchased plants. Uh, you know, in Hawaii, I think we're paying about a dollar to a dollar fifty. I think we paid like three dollars for the tomato plants. Um, they're just starters, and we'll see how they they go. Um, in this one, we planted some seeds, and we're going to see how that goes. We redid the planting in this other raised bed. Um, 
this is just lettuce starters we buy them at the store it's a dollar fifty for a block and it has all of these starters in it um, all you do is you just gently roll it in your hand until they come apart and then you can just spread them out so this will just turn into a little lettuce forest um, we just took out the ones that were in there they lasted us for lettuce for about three or four months so because of Hawaii's weather we can grow year round so this is a great way for us to get lettuce and stuff for uh, our salads but also for giving to our rabbits and uh, animals so you know this costs a dollar fifty for us to just plant all of this the plant pots are still over here we're gonna try plant some cucumbers in these pots and see if we can get them to grow up on this fence it's a nice sunny area they should do really well Okay guys, you've been watching Aloha Quails. This has been a quick tour of our garden and the changes that we're making. This is an ongoing project um, and I'm sure we'll get back to you in a few weeks, let you know how these plants are doing, let you know how the seedlings are doing, show you how big our raised lettuce bed grows. Uh, these things grow pretty quickly here and uh, just give you an update on what else we're doing.